Welcome to Data Minders. My name is Tishana Simon and today as I promised last week we are going to talk about statistical sources. Now there are a variety of sources you can get um, online. Locally we have the Central Statistical Office and the Central Bank as well as other um, sources that you can get actual publications in PDF form or on a database. So for example, there's the Ministry of Tourism. They have a database on travel um, visitors. Um, it's not a big one, but it's still useful depending on what your study is going to be. And regionally, we have, um, for regional data, um, UNECLAC has a database called CIPLSTAT where you can get data for Latin America and for the Caribbean. And CARICOM as well has a database. Now, if you want to know more about the links of these places, of these organizations, of these databases, as well as about other databases as well, you can go on my website, which you can find here and you will get more information or you can contact me um, and you will see that um, my contact information in a presentation or a flyer at the end of this entire um, display or demonstration right now what are we going to talk about today we're going to go through the CSO website now why did I do this as I said last week um, my one of my best friends, hi Kazian, this is dedicated to Kazian, great support. Um, she was telling me, she goes to Custard, and she was telling me how she has a project to do for an entrepreneurship course, and the teacher told her to go on CSO. And this is exactly what she said, she's like, yeah, I went and I came straight out because I do not know what's going on there, right? So I'm going to show you quickly as quickly as possible um how to maneuver the cso website so i will see you at the end of the video so we're going to search for the cso website we search in by typing cso trinidad and tobago and it comes up and we select the link the link and now we are on the home page and we go straight into it by selecting latest indicators and there are a variety of statistics um, for a variety of topics um, on this page you can see health data and data on vehicles and on pages 2 and on pages 3 you will find health statistics also on pages 4 as well so you see there there the death rate and um, on pages two so going straight to page five you will find a variety of weather and geographic statistics um, you have the annual rainfall which is a bit outdated from 1970 and that is one of the challenges of the CSO website uh, some of the data is outdated on page six you will see a variety of data street dwellers aging index and on page seven you and eight or nine well we go straight to eight um you will find uh the economic data and on page seven you would find the population data but we won't go there to save a bit of time now on the right hand side where i am clicking you will see quick links to other places that you can get statistics um other uh, um, organizations and as you can see in the top you can do a bit of a search for exactly what you need instead of going through and you can also um download the data as well as um, download the list, sorry, because it's a list, um, and the list of the data, as well as print it. Now we're going 
straight into statistics. And as you can see, there are different ways they presented product, subject, and um, section. So we are in product, and as you can see, they have it in alphabetical order. And what we're going to do is do a small quick search on education data. We want to lo look at the highest level of education. Um, as you can see there, whatever has education in the title will come up. And we have a small challenge in that the data is not available. Now, sometimes pages do not work. So what do we do? We can contact CSO by doing a data request or a meeting request. Now, all you have to go to is help, click on data request. And the data request page comes up and you can enter your information, your address, your name and wha what data you are requesting. As well, you can also visit them and the address is, address is there on the left, the right hand side. You can also do a meeting request that requires the same information, the same information as well. And we go back to the statistics. Um, we want to go into another uh, product data. So we're going to look at population just to see what they have. And we are going to select population um, media estimates. And as you can see, we have a number of variables there. And you can select a particular year you're looking for. Um, if you want all the variables, you can get all the vital statistics for the population based on what they produce yearly. And you can select the total population. And when you select that, and the way I did, you will get the values at the bottom of the particular variable. Now, if it is you want to download, you can select a particular year and as I said, the CSO website is not perfect. I have tried so many ways to try to download this particular data, um, these, these particular sheets and um, it was a bit challenging and I was not successful. I I, so that is a flaw that they may have because they keep saying select and I kept selecting and attempting to select a particular variable. So um, that is the process that you will see me trying, keep trying. See I selected total population, the warning still came up. So what can you try that I suggest um, is to print. Try to print and you will get the actual data that is presented there. So as you can see, as I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, you can see that it's the population media estimates for 2015 and all the subcategories. So you can get it some other way. As I said, yes, the CSO website is not perfect um, at all. Now you can also make an attempt to graph the data and they will just present for whatever uh, subject it is all the relevant uh, subcategories um, yes they might have it by color on the x-axis that is the lower axis but that does not mean they have all the variables so you can see there are only three bars so we're going straight back to the statistics and we're going to look at the subject now they have variables by subject area, um, so you just just can scroll and do a small search depending on what you are looking for. And then we have by section uh, variables by themes. Then now we're going to select vital statistics, and that is where population, the population statistics that we were looking at, um, can also be found. And as you can see, there are a number of other um, subject areas or sections, I should say, because we went through subjects already. So um, you can see that it is similar to that um, data that we saw earlier, right? So that is section. So it's product, subject, section, 
more or less the same data but just presented different ways so just be careful so we're going in to look at the census data that they have from 2000 it's a bit outdated but depending on what you need you can still use it and we're going to look at socioeconomic indicators and select education now you can do a search to produce the data that you need and we want to look at the uh, highest level of education by urban and rural segments of the population so we enter that in and we process that table and this is what you get yes you get a full table showing the highest level of education I believe and you get it divided uh, according to the urban and the rural and at the end of the table when you scroll down you will actually see the total and right there and you will see the urban I believe um, so yes so now we're going into the publications so we click on media and publications there are a number of publications um, that the CSO produces and so you can search through and get data on trade data on population um, that atlas is very good you can get the um, the, the the actual census questionnaire and you can also get news from the CSO the little highlights that they have in terms of the changes that they are making and so that is about it and um, yeah we're going all back. right so as you can see the CSO website is easy it is possible to maneuver you can go on it and get something for whatever project you have to do now next week we are going to look at the UN ECLAC website um, or database I should say CEPAL STAT and um, we're going to go through because it's more it's more I'll say more detailed than the CSO website now if you want to know more about my services again like us on Facebook invite your friends to like me on Facebook um, our data miners on Facebook you just have to do a little search and you can get other con contact information for me telephone Twitter you can follow me on Twitter all of this and you can even find these videos on YouTube to share with your friends um, all you have to do is search for data minders. So enjoy the rest of your week. Hi guys. Welcome to Data Minders. I am Tishana and today, as I promised last week, we are going to talk about central That is definitely a blooper. <laughs>